Ukrainian engineers are revolutionizing military robotics at one-tenth the cost of Western systems. Hi, this is Joe Lindsley reporting to you from Kyiv, Ukraine. And before we continue, I invite you to like, comment, and subscribe to this YouTube channel, which will help boost and support the work that my team and I do here every single day, reporting from Ukraine, working to share this reality of the fight for freedom with the world. So again, please like, comment, and subscribe. And now, enjoy the video that we've prepared for you. 10 core robotics firm just raised $3.7 million from US investors at a $40 million valuation. Ukraine is becoming the defense tech valley. Time to pay attention. Ukrainian startup Tenkor, whose motto is Let Robots Fight, has released its flagship robot, the Termit UGV. It's a Swiss Army knife on tracks. It performs logistics and supply runs, medical evac under fire, mine clearance, fire support missions, and the price is pretty nice. Tenkor's Termit UGV or unmanned ground vehicle costs $12,000 to $50,000, while a Western military robot might cost more than $100,000 to $250,000. What's more, those pricier European and US robots aren't tested in trenches or born from battle like Tenkors. Real combat testing creates better products. This is why MITS Capital, a Ukrainian-American VC group, has invested $3.74 million in Tenkor in a round valuing the company between $40 to $50 million. In just 18 months, they've produced 800 robots produced. They're scaling incredibly fast, says MITS Capital co-founder Denis Gurak. Mykhailo Fedorov, Ukraine's 34-year-old Minister of Digital Transformation, says the MITS Tankor deal is huge, as it marks the first time a U.S. venture fund has directly invested in a Ukrainian legal entity. Why does this matter? Ukraine is becoming Defense Tech Valley, the free world's laboratory for defense innovation. Motivation plus talent plus honor plus real battlefield testing equals products that actually work. And it seems Donald Trump is starting to realize this truth. President Zelensky said, Trump told him America needs Ukraine's drone expertise. Tencor proves you can and must build a world-class tech company even in the hardest conditions. And Tencor, in a popular Ukraine trend, is already using 65% Ukrainian components part of a drive to be less reliant on unfriendly countries like China. Tencor is now doubling down on R&D. Ukraine has 144,000 square kilometers of mine-contaminated land, thanks to Russia. The demining cost estimate is $30 billion. So, what's Tencor's next step? Dual use. They're developing remotely operated excavators and tractors for civilian demining. When Russia's full-scale invasion began, Tencor's five co-founders started volunteering to help the army. Working for a food industry equipment firm, they decided to use their experience to create Tencor, making bespoke solutions needed by their friends at the front. Ukrainian engineers are revolutionizing military robotics, at one-tenth the cost of Western systems. Tencor robotics firm just raised $3.7 million from US investors at a $40 million valuation. Ukraine is becoming the defense tech valley time to pay attention. If you enjoyed this video, please like, comment, and subscribe. This is Joe Lindsley reporting from Kyiv, Ukraine. Thanks for watching.